In this tutorial, we will create an animated fire title just like this inside Adobe After Effects. And as a bonus, I will also give you this exact same video template for free. Hi, my name is Silard from BlueFX.net and we create video templates that make your videos look much, much more professional. Now you can use this exact video template to create an intro video, but you could also use it to overlay text over your videos. And with the fire titles, you'll be able to make the text stand out and at the same time, make your entire video look much more professional. Now, just make sure that you stick around because in this video, I will show you the entire step-by-step -step process on how you can edit this template and how you can make your own fire titles with After Effects, even if you're a complete beginner. Now, if you're already seeing value in this video, just make sure that you click the like button because that would help us tremendously. The link to the free video template is being added into the description box of this video. All you gotta do is scroll down and you can access it easily. Now, with that being said, let's open up Adobe After Effects and let's start making our own fire titles in a couple of minutes. So we're gonna just drag and drop our video files into Adobe After Effects, just like this. Perfect. Now, the first thing is that we're gonna just drag and drop our videos to our timeline. Now we have here the base. Now the base is gonna sit on the bottom of the entire composition. And then we have something called a, a base loop. We can add that here. And next, we wanna add our reveal. Now the reveal must sit on top of any layer that you add. Basically, when you add a text layer, the reveal always has to be above it. So we're gonna keep our reveal here for now. And we have also our upper loop that has to sit just above the, the base loop. Actually, this is this is very simple. Let me just reorganize this a little bit. Okay, now this looks good, but we need a text. So for that, let's add our text layer. New text. Okay. And we can make another one. I'm just duplicating this. More text. This is kind of like a subtitle. And there we have it. Now, if you preview this, it will look a little strange. You see that the text animation is not at the right spot. I'm gonna just turn off the transparent background because it's not helping. And you see it looks strange. So that's why we have to put the reveal always on top of our text layers. So we just swoosh the reveal up and you see everything is now working. Now you see if you scroll, you see a point where the text actually disappears and then it reappears around here. So what you want to do is cut the text exactly at the spot that it disappears. We, we do a little bit of magic here because otherwise you would need to add all kinds of keyframes and I want to make sure that your job is as simple as possible. So that's the magic trick that we are using here. So let's take a look. Okay, and you see the text appears at the right spot. Perfect. Okay, now we have here also the base loop, but we don't want our, our text to disappear. So for that, you all must take the base loop and put it to the bottom of your timeline. This is basically a loop. If you would like to keep this, this text on for a minute, you could just duplicate this base loop as many times as you wish and then you could extend your animations easily. Now you have at the top something called the upper loop and the upper loop creates this, let me show you, this fiery uh, scratch effect. And you can add that or remove it as you wish. Now let's preview what we created. Perfect. And as you can see, we have also added our sound effects. Everything is already animated for you. It's already added time to the perfect spot. So you don't have to mess around with keyframes. It's just drag and drop. It's made as simple as we could. And at the same time, I think this, this really looks good. Now you could use this 
as it is as an intro video but you could also add a video in the background so let's just drag and drop a video right here I'm gonna add a video here at the background and we're gonna just scale this video up a bit now it looks good I think it looks good also with the video in the background and I would love to get your your feedback on this what do you think what looks better should we keep it with a video in the background do you think this looks better or do you think it looks better with a simple black background what do you think works best then you could also add a white background a gray background you can play with this now just yeah just type it into the comments I would love to get your feedback on this now if you're using a video you could also use this as a lower third not just in the middle of the screen you could select for example let me show you we're gonna select all of our animations I'm gonna click right click and we're gonna click on pre compose and just make a new composition and click OK and now what you can do is just basically we we put this animation into a separate composition and now you can just easily move it around without messing up any of the layers and you can scale this down and there you have your very own lower third and it's gonna look like this I think it looks awesome and you can always just turn off the, the audio if you don't want the audio tracks or you can just lower it and you can use this on your videos you can use it as an intro video you can use it as you'd like now with that being said just go ahead and download this video template if you haven't done so now if you like this free sample you're gonna love the premium version of this and you can check that out also I've linked it in the description of this video and that comes with 25 different fire animation titles it's a package that I'm sure you will love because it creates so many different types of fire animations for you and it, it, it will make your videos look much much more professional so thanks for watching this and I'll see you in the next one